In preparation to talk about CNC software, this week we're going to define some terms and talk about some common file types. So starting from the very top, we have CNC. CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control, which basically is using a computer to control something that moves. Up next we have CAD. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. Computer Aided Design is basically designing a thing on the computer. Uh, CAD is usually a piece of software, so that could be something like AutoCAD or SolidWorks or SketchUp to design things in 3D, or something like Inkscape, Illustrator, or CorelDRAW if you want to design things in two dimensions. CAM is a little bit of a tricky one. CAM stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing. And technically, CAM is the entire ecosystem of using computers to help you make something. But when you see CAM applied to a piece of software, it's usually describing a piece of software used to generate key code. And what that means is that software takes into account information about your model that you've designed in your CAD program and your machine and combines those two. So it takes into account things like what, what, what the dimensions of the thing you're trying to make are and what bit you want to use to cut it out, and generates the correct motions to make your object. A tool chain is all of the tools that you use to go from having an idea to having a physical object. So that could be something like, I designed this in SketchUp, I generated the G-code in MakerCam, I cut it out of my Maslow. And all of those tools are fairly interchangeable. Each one of those blocks. You could design something in AutoCAD and then generate your G-code in MakerCam and cut it out on Maslow. Or you could generate, you could design something in AutoCAD, generate your G-code in MakerCam and cut it out on a you know, CNC router that's cutting steel. Basically, each of those blocks is a block or a link in your tool chain. And they all have to work together. The SVG file format is a file format you will probably encounter. It stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. It's a common 2D file type used for blueprints for something you're going to cut out. So that would be a file that you would export from your CAD program into your CAM program to transfer the data, the blueprints of what you want to cut. And SVG files are becoming more and more common. They're fairly consumer friendly. They're, it's a more modern file format. It's an open file format came out of the world of web design, and so it's easy to create SVG files in programs like Inkscape, CorelDRAW, or um, Illustrator. You can also export SVG files commonly from programs like SolidWorks, uh, SketchUp, or AutoCAD. A DXF file is another 2D file type you'll likely encounter. DXF file stands for Drawing Exchange Format. It's a file format created by AutoCAD in the 1980s as a way to take your, your model in AutoCAD and transfer it to other programs, like a CAM program. Uh, DXF files were the industry standard for years and years and years, and still are, to a large extent. Um, because it was a closed proprietary format, some programs don't support them. It's now open, uh, so it's becoming more, more accessible. But you'll mostly find it in higher-end software and software that's focused towards the industry. And you can directly convert from a DXF file to an SVG file or an SVG file to a DXF file with no loss of information. STL files are another file type that you may encounter. An STL file doesn't stand for, but sort of a fun way to think of it is standard triangle language. And an STL file is a 3D file format that's made up of many little triangles. Um, STL files aren't great for CNC routing. They're very, very common for 3D printing. They work well for that, but they're not great for 3D print CNC routing. And that's because the way the 3D printers work is it's an additive process, so you're filling in the space, which is clearly defined by all of the triangles. Uh, for CNC routing, you want to cut around the edges, and those edges aren't as clearly defined. Um, or at least it's not as easy for the CAM software to identify where you want to cut. So unfortunately, SCL files, while a very common format for 3D printing, are not a great format for CNC routing. <clears throat> and finally, we have G-code. G-code is one of the very earliest file formats. Uh, it's from the, it goes back to the 1950s, and it's a language used to describe motions for a machine. Because G-code has been around for so long, 
There's an incredible number of standards out there for it, but it's all fairly common. Um, basically think of G-code as a series of coordinated movements. And so the, it, it, it's instructions to the machine how to move. So this is the final file format that you send to your machine that tells it how to move to cut out your parts. Uh, and this is the file type that you would send into ground control. G-code files are interesting because they're so old, they're very, very human readable. The earliest ones were written by hand, and you can still open your G-code files in a text editor. And sometimes you'll see there will be little notes in there, or, um, you know, it's, just, it's interesting to see how they work. It's incredibly simple. I hope some of those terms were new or informative for you. If not, that's all right. Uh, if you have any questions or anything that I missed, um, please let us know in the forums.